Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'll be showing you how to make a wood photo frame. Uh, this one you can use at a 4th of July party. So what you'll need is wood. I bought a, a 2 by 4 by 10 feet at Home Depot. It was $2 and I had them cut it down. Two of the pieces will be 34 inches and the other two will be 28 inches. You'll also need red, white, and blue paint a paintbrush, a hammer, and some nails. Or you can use wood glue. And a piece of cardboard and some stars that I printed off to trace. So what you'll do first is you'll take three of your boards, two of the long ones and one of the small ones, and you'll paint it white. You'll paint the whole entire board white and then you'll let that dry. Then you'll take your other small board and paint the whole entire thing with the dark blue paint and then you'll let it dry. While my paint is drying, I went ahead and traced on the giant star to the cardboard and then I cut it out. Then you'll take your glue or Mod Podge and cover the star entirely and then you'll sprinkle your gold glitter over the star and then let it dry. Once your paint has dried, you'll take your two long boards and your painter's tape or masking tape. And I measured one inch from each side of the board. And then I put the piece of tape down in the middle. I use two pieces of tape and overlap them that way it'll be um, one inch from each side here and then you can put your ruler down and uh, just slide it down the line to make sure it's even want to make sure the tape is pressed down firmly onto your boards and leave the ends hanging off on the side then you'll go ahead and paint over the white parts that you have left out with the red paint you'll do this to each of your boards And while the paint is still drying, it's not dry yet, you want to go ahead and pull up your tape. You want to pull it up before the paint is completely dry. This will make the lines um, better and easier for the tape to come up. Then you'll take your other small white board and um, I put my first piece of tape down and I measured about uh, one inch a piece and I made little marks in my marker and I went down the board with the tape. You also can make it two inches apart. And when you're done, it'll look something like this and you wanna leave the edges hanging off. That way you can pull them up. And you'll just paint in between the lines, the white parts red. Then you'll just pull up your pieces of tape right before it's completely dry. Next, you'll take your blue piece of wood and your star that you cut out and you'll trace it on to your um, wood. You could trace it with a pencil or you can use a paint marker and then fill it in. You can fill in the stars using your paint marker or you can use white paint and a paintbrush. Then I just laid out my pieces of wood and I'm going to glue and nail them together. After gluing the wood together, 
I put about five nails in each side um, on each corner. Also, instead of using hot glue, I would say use wood glue to make sure um, it stays together. This is how it looks when it's done. You can add handles to the back of the frame. This will be easier to hold while taking pictures. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.